What are you doing, boyo? Well, as you see, I've got this old Massey Ferguson TEA20 tractor here. And as you can see, the paint isn't very good, is it? So what we're doing here is we're, we've taken the fuel tank off um, and um, so we can get in all the nooks and crannies and the fuel tank is leaking. So, um, flaking off all the flaky bits and degreasing it with a bit of petrol because it works just as well as, um, well as that um, mineral degreasing. So as you can see here, we worked a bit of paint on to see how it would go for the start. And I think we're going to do some more. Basically get it onto the frame through the day. Engine's going to need a bit more degreasing. That thing there needs to be welded on somehow. And we've got a manifold gaskets coming because where that bolts, that's the exhaust manifold and the intake manifold to, from They've the They've got to come off together, don't they? Yeah, so that all comes off together. And then we'll clean that side of the engine and paint that side too. Mm -hmm. And um, I have to get some heat proof black for the exhaust manifold. Yeah, and a little tip if you want to, if you don't know the difference between the positive and the, ne and the negative because they're both painted the same color, right? You look for the one which is going to the ground or to the tractor, right? in this case, the dash. So um, that's the negative one right there. And that works almost all the time. <laughs> Except in some really old vehicles, like, I don't know, first generation Land Rovers from 1948 and maybe first generation Volkswagen Beetles where they had a positive earth. Crazy stuff. Hmm. So yes, don't always accept that as true. called the crank handle so you put it in there so through this hole into that no, it's not going to focus on it into that on the front of the front pulley wheel there on the end of the crankshaft notice that one way the end of the the crank handle which will be a little t-piece like that will neatly slot into those um, those teeth and when the engine fires and goes quicker than you can crank it'll push it out with, with this sloping edge here so that it doesn't try to pull your hand off so or break you in the knee you would put the crank handle which is shaped like that into with a little piece on the end into the front hole through there into the um, front pulley wheel and then my dad said that what you would do is crank it by pulling up because he said that if the engine backfired it would smash you in the wrist and then you'd end up with a broken wrist whereas if you if it doesn't it would pull it out of your hand if it backfired all right well i'm just gonna take this breather hose off so um should be able to do that by hand now Banjo fitting. Uh, do I take it off here too? Well, you're gonna have to remove. No, I wouldn't because you're gonna have to remove the whole manifold system. Oh, okay. That's just an added step for a part that'll get True. lost. True. So we've got a whole bunch of nuts. Oh, I need an extender bar. Oh my god. I'm gonna go get one. So we're gonna remove all of these nuts. And there's more down here. Oh, hang on, where? There we go. There's a bunch of them down there. And we're gonna pull those manifolds off. We'll also have to detach the carburetor from there because that's part of the throttle control mechanism, you see? So that rod there is gonna have to be disconnected. And that rod there, no doubt. So this this whole manifold system can come off. Look at that. <laughs> I'm going to get to lose control. 
That's his hair when he wakes up in the morning. take someone to pull off a couple of manifolds. Oh, Josh. I'm not the best mechanic in the house, all right? Not the... That's a breather pipe, you see. It goes from that crankcase down the bottom. Ooh, see that? That's called a banjo bolt there that allows the gas to carry it through the middle of the bolt, so hollow bolt, and then out the side of it into that pipe, and it throws it over the side. It did used to put it into an air cleaner, which we've removed because it's an old oil bath air cleaner. And I'm not sure that I like them, so we're just going to put a little paper cone one on there. And see. I know people are probably going to go, oh, it's not original. Well, it works. He's got to remove, see this rod here, which is the choke knob. See that thing? pulls that rod there and it goes to the carburetor which is attached to the bottom of the manifold because I want all that to come off in the one go and also there's this throttle mechanism on the front which is pull your bloody flies out oh. give us a look see that rod there is attached to the back of the um, carburetor and that's got this outlandish mechanism from this lever up here that sort of operates that Seems complicated. It's going to take this black ages to um, pull this blip pin off. Well, we finally got the manifolds off and um, the gaskets look okay. Well, dodgy brothers me would Except say to reuse them if we're going to reassemble it today because it's fine. Yeah. Brush that thing. Right. So there's your carburetor, intake manifold, that's all got to be tidied up. And, oh, the, um, the exhaust manifold and intake manifold are one and the same casting. Yeah. That's fascinating. We need a new fuel filter. That was just pulling last time. That's kind of crusty in there. Have you finished it yet? No. Why not? Are we there yet? No. Having a bit of a wash down, are you? Yes. That's exciting. Riveting stuff. It really is, isn't it? Oh. oh, sorry. My manifolds are clean. Pretty much. Got all the dirt and grease. There's a bit of paint flaky bits there. I'll we'll get rid of that. Yeah, it's all good. Yeah, that could be a bit more dirt. Oh, it is. Oh, my God. Oh, washing, washing. Pretty. I'm just coming to check what manner of whinging is occurring over here. What is that? You said you're whinging. I'm not. <laughs> That looks like rust and dirt. Uh, lactic acid's going to the arm. Oh my god, that means that you need to do this. Lactic acid to the arm. <clears throat> Just a bunch in my mouth. Well, if you went dressed like a medieval monk. Twelve seconds later. Right. What about up these holes, boyfriend? Oh, yeah, okay. Three thousand years later. So, have you finished this job yet, Michael? Doesn't look like it. Oh, God, he did a good job degreasing that. What? Oh, this big piece of grease that I'm getting off here. I didn't do that. You told me to do the underside of it. Yeah, it might be right. It might just be... I think that looks pretty clean. Um, I think you've got it. The lactic acid can get a moment to go away. Not 
It can't because I've got to do up here now. Oh my god, are you sick of this now, are ya? Yes. I want to paint it and be done with it. And, but here I am, cleaning grease for you. For me, even though it's your project. No, it's not. I can see grease. And you told me to do the underside of it, so grease. I'll try to do there. Grease. But it's, it's coming again, but there's a bit of a bit more to go. Yeah. Are you excited? I'm thrilled. More scratching. Oh, there's a grease nipple. Come Where? On. I finally found one. Where? Well, it's on the. It's like for the wheel silk. I think so, yeah. I can't remember what the story was, what we did. Much, much, much later. Still working on the same hub. Yep. I'm excited. Look at that cool lens flare. It's like, ta da! Love it. Anyway. I feel like that lady from Fat Fires. Dust. It's low fat, you can have as much dust as you like. Yeah. Wow. What year was it? 1953. You know how long ago that was? A lot of time. 68 years ago. Oh, so in two years she'll be seven. Nice. In two years, you might have got that hub cleaned off. Go on, get to it, fingers. Yeah, baby, look, that's coming clean. Hey, um, Junga, don't forget down here to wash the inside of the tray of oh, the wheel rim out once you've finished. Yeah. Not now, though. I think you can have a crack at the other one when you're finished. Do you want to have a go? No. Nope. I will, chat. So I'm an English tractor. See, I'm a little made in uh, in the north of England there after the war. Yes, but we are it's a German car and we would like to secretly punch your face in in the night. Yeah, well, I'm an English car too. Look at that. And I'm a Jap. Surprise. Oh my God, you have a Bosch coil on you. What do you say, English tractor? See, in Germany, we have Bosch coils. And anyway, Jerry, why are you so dirty, eh? There was a dust storm. I live in Australia and it's very dusty sometimes. Mm. Well, that one didn't break. Yes, being such a brute as I am, I, I broke the previous one. Yes. Such a brute. Ah. I think this seat... I have a new one for it. Oh yes, I think I'll put it on. Yeah, man. Yes. I really think we're almost ready to go. I'm brushing it with gasolinas. Like a crazy man. You'll get spattered. I did. You'll be gasolina. I did get gasoline.
here we have the fun police tidying up in Nova Spring. Yes. Ooh, fun police. <laughs>